Hello, Angel Baby. So I am doing another reading. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to be using my Steampunk deck. Steampunk deck. Good lord. I feel like I can't talk. Um, and see what comes out. I got a pretty interesting messages, message earlier, but I just wanted to kind of, I don't know. We'll see what happens here. A spirit wants you to know what that will be. They will bring it out in this reading. I know why I feel like I should get that card. So, <laughs> all right, Angel Baby. Either somebody is looking at you like as a B A C T H, like a bitch, okay? Um, or somebody is being this way with you, which is very cold, very calculated, very angry, okay? A lot of mental energy here. Or this person has you in like that kind of fucked up mental energy. Yeah, we have the star card here. So there's a lot of Aquarius energy. Aquarius is all about setting yourself free, which is probably why we have the Eight of Swords here. Let me turn on my air purifier because I burn sage in here, but like that mess was doing a whole lot. And I feel like my eyes are like kind of burning, kind of overdid it a little bit, I guess. Anyway. So it's like somebody is upset that you were able to set yourself free. Okay, you were able to heal yourself and, you know, kind of um, come out of a really bad mental space. I don't know why I feel like somebody's upset, but I do get the feeling that somebody took your healing as like, you know, their like personal insult. You know what I mean? Like, um, we are destroyed by your anger. We are terrified by your hot anger. Like literally, I don't know. Somebody is like really afraid of you or afraid of what you might do. Okay, because they look at you. Aquarius people can also be seen as like very, very reckless. All right, this person feels like um, <clears throat> like you're like a, a, a fireball, like a firecracker. They don't know where it's going to go off. They don't know if it's going to, you know, um, land in a tree and catch that tree on fire. They don't know if, you know, they don't know what you're planning on doing. They don't know how you're planning on acting. Okay, we also have the two of pentacles. So you may be in some very indecisive energy right now. Okay, not really knowing what to do, how to move forward. But people are looking at you as like a rebel. Like they don't know, <laughs> what is she going to do next? Like kind of energy, all right? Um, yeah, I will sing for joy about what your hands have done. Ooh, the Lord I have made... You have made me happy by what you have done. I will sing for joy about what your hands have done. So, like, somebody's been working on something, okay? And it's possibly giving them a lot of joy, um, a lot of happiness. It's provided, like, a lot of healing energy because this is, you know, one of the seven star sisters, all right? This is a lot of, like, Pleiadian energy. Yeah, four of wands. You were able to build your stability off of this, okay? Um, or you will be able to build your stability off of this, okay, off of this, um, you know, I'm not effing with anybody, you try it if you fucking want to, type of energy, okay, you are able to build stability off of that, and it's honestly you being very protective or overprotective over your energy, all right, um, <clears throat> the Lord is clothed in majesty and armed with strength, so it's like you arming yourself okay mentally and emotionally and healing yourself because i'm just seeing like maybe you're healing for mental abuse I'm, re I'm really not entirely sure um but in you doing that you have a very strong mental capacity for others of you i feel like it says lord those you correct are happy you teach them from your law so uh, like i said some of you are going to be able to build some stability but it's going to cause somebody else a lot of anger Okay, it's causing somebody like a lot of mental anguish and anger and upset, okay, that you're getting this stability somehow. I really don't know how, but it, it is. Evil people seem to do well. Yeah, so we have the Knight of Wands here. So you may feel like attacked. You may feel like you need to kind of go on the defense, okay, um, when it comes to how far you have healed and how much, yeah, like how much you've healed, okay, from this person or how much you've healed through this mental energy all right whatever it was that you were dealing with i feel like it is gone okay and you're very very protective of yourself so that you don't go back into that same mental state so even if it means that you have to protect your your stability okay by any means necessary you see that sword in her hand 
Like, she's taking somebody's hand, but she also has a sword here. Like, you didn't come to fucking play. You didn't come to fucking play around. All right, you're like, I wish you would fucking try it because I come ready. I come prepared. I already know what you're about. I see you. I have mental clarity now. I'm not tied up by anything now. I'm going to say what I got to say. I'm going to do what I got to do. I don't care how you feel about it. This is how I'm feeling. You're in that type of energy. Yeah, it says you give them rest from times of trouble until a pit is dug for the wicked. Okay, the Lord won't leave his people nor give up his children. Judgment will again be fair and all who are honest will follow it. So, again, I think this is really about you being honest with yourself, okay? Yeah, we have the Four of Cups because you've been extremely dissatisfied. You've been extremely dissatisfied, okay? You've been extremely upset. And this is heavy Aquarius energy, too, by the by. But it's like these, this energy, like, had you to the point where, like, you were upset with yourself. Like, you were dissatisfied because you felt like you couldn't say what it was that you needed to say. Or you couldn't express yourself in a certain way. And I feel like that energy is, is gone. Whatever was holding you back is no longer here. Yeah, Queen of Cups, you could have been dealing with a water sign, okay, um, that had you in this kind of um, back and forth, teeter-tottery kind of energy, okay? Um, like maybe you would offer emotional expression and then maybe, or maybe not you, but maybe this person would offer some type of emotional expression and then the next time they wouldn't, and then maybe they do again, and then maybe the next three times they don't. But you, you're tired of that fucking energy, basically. All right, this person was watching you at some point in time, okay, staying very vigilant. Again, I do feel like this is possibly your energy where you are just ready to cut anybody down with your words at any point in time, okay, whenever you feel like it is necessary because you are doing everything to protect your mental right now, okay? You're doing everything to protect your mental right now. It says, surely your enemies will be destroyed, all right, that is what you're focusing on right now is knowing that you are protected, knowing that you are standing up for yourself, okay, whether you have people by you or not. You are standing up for your own emotional and mental health and well-being, and nobody's going to come between you and that. All right, so it says crooked leaders cannot be your friends. They use the law to cause suffering. They join voices against people who do right and sentence to death the innocent. So... Literally, you're just being on the defense. You're just being on the defense. I feel like you're in a point, or at a point now, when it comes to, like, swords energy. Swords, they don't trust anybody, okay? They don't trust how anybody's moving. They don't trust, you know, what people say. They watch out. They are in the page of swords energy. They watch to see what you're going to do first, okay? And then they come in with the Knight of Wands and the Star card, and they're like, okay, now I can let my guard down, you know, come in and heal the situation, but I can't do that, and I'm going to refuse to do it. Um, if you're going to continue to be in this if assy, um, sort of kind of some tiny ass energy, okay? I have a cup here to give you, all right? It's full of Pleiadian energy because you got it from your higher source, your higher power, okay? The most high God, Jesus, Yeshua, whatever it is that you believe in, okay? You are anointed. You are heavily anointed. You have this cup to give, but it's like since this person tried to put you in this mental entrapment since this person, you know, did so much to try and gaslight you to the point where you feel like you can't even speak up for yourself, you're holding all of that pretty Pleiadian energy to yourself. Rightly so. Yeah. Page of cups in the reverse. You're keeping your cup to your goddamn self. You're like, you know, you ran over me the last few times I have given you this cup. I'm not going to continue to do it again. Move on. Yeah, judgment is being called on this situation. So whoever puts you in this mental entrapment, okay, judgment is being called on them. Trust and believe judgment is being called on them. This person wants to come in and resurrect the situation with you, but um, the angels are getting ready to step in. I'm hearing a siren that was in the um, the song by Oshun, and it's called Protect Yourself. There's a siren there, you know, protect yourself, okay? So spirit is really telling you to protect yourself, Take spirit baths, spray yourself with spirit water. You can look up on Google or you can actually look up on Pinterest or on YouTube about how to make your own spirit water. You just spritz it on yourself and, you know, you clean out your energetic field, align your chakras or whatever it is that you need to do real quick. Um, you know, do your meditations to stay up on your mental game because your enemies will 
will surely be destroyed, okay? And all who do evil will be scattered. So these people, or this energy, whatever this energy is that puts you in this state of not having rest, of having to constantly be vigilant, of having to, you know, not being able to offer any emotional and that shit hurts okay when you're an empath and you're not able to offer somebody a deep level of emotional connection that really does hurt you more than it hurts the other person okay it really does because this person can be a cold-hearted bitch and you're sitting here like why why like why are you like this i have literally not done anything to you but existed okay a lot of times people are jealous of you and they act upon that but then at the same time want to tell you that they love and care about you and all that shit and in the meantime their heart is literally just burning on the inside because they don't have you know what they perceive you to have that they don't you know they're deeply insecure so i'm really sensing that energy here too and i keep coming back to the scripture okay and Psalms 92 and 9, your enemies, okay, Lord, surely your enemies, surely your enemies will be destroyed. They will surely be destroyed. So that this person, this person thought they were above judgment. <laughs> this person thought they were above judgment. This person didn't think that they were going to be judged for their behavior, for being this cold-hearted um, energy, okay, being this cold-hearted bitch, basically. They did not think that they were going to be judged. They thought that they were going to be able to come in on the sly and, you know, um, continuously refuse offers. They were going to have to, you know, this person's just really conniving. That's all I'm seeing is this person is very, very conniving. They do anything to stay on top. They do anything to win at all costs. They don't care if they say something to you that's hurtful. They don't care if they're not empathetic towards you. They, they just don't give a damn. This person just does not care. Okay. Um, The world is set and it cannot be moved. Exactly. So I feel like this person literally just felt like they could not be moved. They can't, they're not going to do this or they're not going to do that. Um, yeah. We have the death in the reverse. So like I said, somebody was trying to prolong the ending. Somebody was trying to, um, somebody was really trying to resurrect a situation. And it's just, it's not going to happen. Death in the reverse is like an inevitable ending and this is the truth because you have the high priestess here it's an inevitable ending i'm hearing that this person don't want you okay i don't know if you needed to hear that angel baby or this is going out to a cross watcher this person don't want you this person does not want you and there's something that you need to understand about that this person does not want you okay they don't have any other options that's what's really going on Okay, they don't have any other options. They realize that what they went out there to go do and what they went out there to go build on, all right, was a bunch of bullshit. It wasn't real. They don't have any other options. But good people will grow like palm trees. They will be tall like the cedars of Lebanon. So this person, like exactly, this person had they self-planted like a damn tree in your garden. Planted like a tree in your garden that you didn't section you didn't sectioned off, all right, that you didn't sectioned off for, for yourself or for someone else. They were planted like a damn tree. And we have the knight of cuts in the reverse. Yeah, like you're just you're not even offering any apologies for taking care of yourself or for not offering your your emotional energy to this person anymore because they fucked you over. All right, anybody that would mentally abuse you to the point where you feel like you cannot even stick up for yourself, okay? You're getting judgment. You're going to face judgment. Evil people seem to do well, but they will be destroyed forever. Okay, this person thought that they were above judgment. They thought that they weren't going to get caught. You're not above judgment. Nobody is. We all want to face that siren at some point, okay? Oh, I'm hearing break. Oh, I saw the word breakdown in here. Somebody may have a mental breakdown. They really might have a mental breakdown. Ten of swords, okay? Trying to prevent that inevitable ending. It's going to happen. This person is going to get judged for what it is that they have done. Six of Wands, it's going to be a victory for y'all. You pulling your energy back, okay, and taking care of yourself and keeping this Pleiadian, um, Pleiadian healing energy to yourself and embracing the light side of you, okay, and emotionally nurturing yourself, oh, you're going to have a victory. 
you are going to have a victory because that is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to go in and heal whatever it is that you need to heal. Yeah, we have the lovers in the reverse. And we have the eight of cups in the reverse. So it's like this person, like I said, they do not want you. But they feel like they cannot walk away from you. This is some heavy ass like obsession type of energy. This is a person that would de disguise themselves as like the perfect mate for you. Like your twin flame. Like if they're like, oh my god, we're supposed to be together. And blah, 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 blah. It, it's not real. It's not real at all. Yeah, four of pentacles. This person really was trying to hold on to whatever the situation was, okay? I don't know, maybe you guys were, like, really good friends, you used to, like, watch movies and shit together. This person was really trying to hold on to the situation. The Lord won't leave his people. They will kill widows and foreigners and murder orphans. What in the hell? You make me happy by what you have done. Rise up and judge of the earth. Give the borrow. Give the proud what they deserve. How long will the wicked be happy? Y'all are just wondering how long, like, evil people who do shit like this that would mentally abuse you or, you know, do fucked up shit to you are going to survive. Like, how is it that good things keep happening to you? Why? Like, when are they going to get what they deserve, okay? I feel like that's a big, huge energy for you. That really bothers you, all right, when it comes to this situation. And that happens, Angel Baby. I feel like I'm the poster child for, like, okay, when is everybody else who's, like, super shitty and doesn't give a fuck about anybody but themselves going to, you know, pay for what it is that they have done? Like, when? When are we going to get to see that? So we have the Knight of Cups in the reverse. So somebody, like I said, they didn't even want to offer an apology when it came to this. They didn't want to do anything when it came to this situation, okay? They chose to, like I said, be a cold-hearted bitch when it came to you trying to build your stability, okay? They were with somebody that didn't fucking want them, didn't care about them, okay? Saw them as the only option that they had for right now, all right? And this person, like I said was vigilant and you're vigilant over this person because you know what this person's game is you already know what this person's game is so you were like uh, -uh i don't need no apology i don't need an apology no thank you because the moment that i open myself up and i start giving you this cup okay if i start coming in my healing energy okay with the star card right here if i give you this if you just gonna dead the shit okay you're gonna snatch what i have and then be asking me for more and I'm over here, you know, gasping, gasping, gasping for air, okay? So you're no longer doing this. And by not doing this, I'm telling you, you're going to get a victory. For some of y'all, y'all had to emotionally walk away, okay? You had to emotionally walk away and realize that it wasn't going to be a happy, happy life, happy wife, happy whatever with this person, okay? Also, this person is broke as fuck. On top of them, you know, snatching your energy from you, this person is broke as fuck, they got nothing going for them. Okay, we have the two of cups here. So honestly, like judgment is being called because this person possibly is in a new relationship that's emotionally fulfilling. You see Archangel Metatron here and you have Illyrian, a lion here. This is divinely orchestrated, okay? You can't get rid of a divine union. It's just not possible. The star card, exactly, because you're the freaking star. More healing energy, okay? You took your healing energy and you moved on to have a victory somewhere else. Somewhere else. Somewhere else. Because this person didn't deserve your healing energy. You needed somebody who was also going to show up as a star so that you can have a victory. You needed somebody else that was going to match this energy so that you can have a victory. All right? So we got somebody that's definitely going through some money struggles. Maybe that's why they want to come back and resurrect the situation because they don't have what they thought that they were going to have, okay? When it comes about down to um, finances, they thought that they were going to be able to get what it was that they wanted and they didn't. So now they want to come back to you and not be that cold-hearted bitch that you know that they are. And it's just not going to happen, okay? It's just not going to happen. So heavy, heavy Aquarius energy, heavy, heavy... Um, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. But this person really thought, okay, 
God is the rock of my protection. I, I don't know why I'm hearing Jesus is the rock. Jesus is the rock. God will pay them back for their sins and will destroy them for their evil. The Lord, our God, will destroy them. So somebody is really getting ready to get destroyed. Somebody's really getting ready to be sat in the fucking hot seat and strapped down to that bitch while it's on fire. Like, literally. Somebody's gonna have to face the freaking flame. Face the freaking music. They are full of proud words. Those who do evil things and brag about what they have done. Yeah, exactly. This is that type of person. So this person would like, um, I don't know, like Indian give to you. Okay, look up what Indian giving is. And then, you know, like brag about that shit. You know what I mean? Like, oh, they don't have this. They don't have that. Like, all of a sudden, now your business is out everywhere. You know what I mean? All of a sudden... You know, everybody knows your business. People are coming up to you talking about your personal details of your life. And you don't even know these people very well, okay? Um, it just sucks that this person would do that. And that does cause somebody to have mental issues. Because now you're thinking that everybody you come to contact with, even people you don't know, since they have been coming up to you, you know, maybe it's a friend of a friend and you don't really know them. Maybe you know their name. And they're telling you, you know, oh, how do you feel about X, Y, and Z? And you're like, well, how the fuck do you know about that? Okay, that really fucks with the person's mind, all right? That really fucks up somebody's mental because now they feel like they've been put in a position where they can't trust anybody. They have to keep that energy to themselves because you have ruined not so much this person's reputation, but you have ruined the comfort and peace that they had within their mind that they were going to be able to get out of a situation or do something. So... This person is facing judgment for that, okay? And we're going to see how. How is this person facing judgment for that? They kill widows and foreigners and murder orphans. Literally, this person has no heart. This person has no heart. They will go after women. They will go after children. They do not care. They will leave you, women and children, ass the fuck out. They do not care, okay? Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, this person would even, like, steal money from you. Five of swords in the reverse. And you know about this, okay? You know that this is no fucking secret. You know it's no secret. So this person just causes a bunch of discord. Yeah, and you just want to dead the situation. You're just like, you know what? I need to end this because at this point I need to heal. I'm not willing to go through with this anymore. It's making me feel like, you know, I can't gain, you know, a financial independence. I can't move forward and say what it is that I really need to say so that I can express myself and heal. You know, I have a bunch of healing energy, okay? I know who I am as a person. I know what I'm capable of. I know I have the power. I, I just need to dead this situation. I just need to dead this situation. I just need to get rid of it because it's, it's putting me in a place of being stuck in my healing journey. And you don't want to be stuck anymore, Angel Baby. I can completely understand that. For some of you, this person is watching you. There's a page of swords popped out again, but we also have the Knight of Swords. Okay, so somebody wants to come in with some communication, possibly about your finances. Page of Swords, did I tell you somebody was watching you? <sighs> somebody wants to come in with some truth and clarity, like clean out the fog from your mind about what it was that you were supposed to be gaining or what it, some type of information. I don't know. Possibly to with your finances. I'm not sure. Yeah, you're coming out of some devil energy. It's the death of a karmic cycle. Okay, you're coming out of some devil energy, and somebody wants to send you a message about this. Somebody that's been watching you for quite some time. This is somebody from your past that you don't have good memories with. Okay. Yeah, and this is the world card here because you're going to be starting a new cycle. You're not going to be stuck in this karmic cycle anymore. The Eight of Wands in reverse, this person has unfairly targeted you, okay? They've told lies on you, okay? They've been watching you and telling lies on you. The Ace of Cups in the reverse, this person feels absolutely nothing. They have absolutely nothing to offer. Like I said, you're coming out of this devil energy. Coming out of this devil energy of, you know, people just draining you, people just... Literally draining the freaking life out of you. Draining you. 
in making you feel like you can't stick up for yourself, like you can't move, like you can't do anything, okay? Like you just have to kind of like sit there and be stuck with the bad memories of this person. Again, that Queen of Swords energy. I told you, y'all are possibly dealing with an Aquarius. Aquarius, this person has been siphoning your energy in some kind of way. This person has been siphoning your energy in some type of way, okay? Um, and let's figure out why. <laughs> okay, I cut the deck on this. Possibly because you're in a relationship with somebody that they feel like they need to be with. Okay, they no longer want to play the fool anymore. They want to come in and have a relationship with this person. What in the fuck? Okay. The hanged man. That's somebody that used to previously be a fool. Previously be a fool in relationships. Okay, they will grow strong in the courtyards of our God. Somebody sees, like I said, oh my God, literally. Somebody sees that you're in a relationship with somebody that's your divine counterpart, okay? And this is the relationship that they had. It's not divine. Yes, yeah, it's watched over by angels, but look how much more the divine is in this picture than the other one, Okay. So somebody's comparing the relationship that you have now with your person, your divine counterpart, to the relationship that they had with you, and it doesn't compare. It doesn't compare. And this person can't get over it. It's like they're obsessed with you, okay? He is clothed in majesty. Literally, they see that you are clothed in majesty. They see that you are anointed. They see that you are somebody that, you know, has what it is that they want, and they want to come back around either for you or your um, your person, so this is either like your ex or your person's ex, and they've been siphoning your energy, siphoning, you need to do some spiritual cleansing, they've been siphoning your energy, rise up, judge of the earth, and give the proud what they deserve. You fools, when will you understand? Can't the creator of ears hear? Can't the maker of eyes see? So it's like this person is watching, it's like you see it coming though, angel baby, like you know this person is around. This karmic just needs to get a life. Exactly, this person sees you happy. Exactly, this person sees you happy. They see you sowing good seeds, okay? And they see that you're not emotionally invested into them. But what you don't see, okay, is them trying to burden you, okay? Them trying to figure out a way that they can come in and lay down these burdens and be like, you know what? I don't want to deal with this anymore. So it's like somebody's storing up all the actions that they've taken against you and trying to figure out, okay, how do I move now? How do I come in this situation now? Because I see this person is happy, okay? I see this person is planting seeds, okay? They're not talking to me. They're not offering me any type of emotion. They're not doing anything. How can I, you know, how can I move forward like this? That's what I feel like this person. Yeah, how can I move forward like this? So we have Ace of Pentacles, Temperance. Again, somebody from your past. No confusion. You're not confused about this person. You know exactly what action to take. I feel like you were previously confused, but not anymore. And somebody is going to get balance, okay? Ace of Pentacles. It could be money, prosperity, um, a new job, but just a, an offer from the heavens, okay? An offer from somebody in your past. is this offer going to be about oh i just saw the deceit cards so somebody may try to deceive you about whatever offer it is that you've been getting or an offer let's get a clarifier on that real quick Yeah, the Hierophant in the reverse and the chariot. So this is breaking a commitment. You're going to be breaking a commitment to move on, all right? Or you're moving towards breaking a commitment or a soul contract with somebody else. Yeah, because they've caused you a lot of pain. Okay, possible cancer here. Is somebody going to get cancer? What the hell? Yeah, seven of cups. Somebody doesn't have any options. Somebody's moving in real slow, okay? This move is coming in real slow, okay? Somebody doesn't have any options. They're getting ready to get rid of a commitment, all right? We have a tower moment here. So somebody's not expecting this heartbreak, but it's coming. We have the three of pentacles here. 
So it's like, and see, here's what I'm getting here. With the Hierophant and the Seven of Cups in the reverse, you broke a commitment because you feel like you only had one option. But I'm looking at it in the upright, like, as these people or whoever it is around you, okay, in your community, don't realize that you have more than one option. Okay, you have more than one option. Like, you had more than one option, but this person didn't have more than one option. I feel like something. Yeah, exactly. You have the Wheel of Fortune. You have the Wheel of Fortune. You have luck and favor on your side, and this person sees that. You have favor. Like trees planted in the temple of the Lord, they will grow strong in the courtyards of our God. In the courtyards of our God. Didn't I tell you? I don't know if it was this reading where I was like, it was like somebody was trying to plant a tree in your garden. Look, Nine of Pentacles, you're getting some type of something. Okay, there's going to be a message coming in, Knight of Swords, okay, about you receiving some type of abundance or receiving some type of prosperity. And for some reason, that's going to be heartbreaking to someone. Possibly a Taurus or a Cancer. I don't know why I heard Scorpio. Yeah, Queen of Swords. Here again with that Queen of Swords. Somebody's getting the Wheel of Fortune. Two of Wands. All right, somebody's going to be stuck waiting. Waiting, waiting, waiting. I keep getting that message. Stuck waiting, waiting in a resting period or something's being laid to rest. I had a dream. I had a dream that... um. Oh my god, I'm trying to remember. It was like my stepmom was like buried under a house. Okay, and I'm just being like very, very vivid right now. Um, like my stepmom was buried under a house, but like she had like an undead spirit. Like it was like a like a dead thing. Like it was just like her skull. Like you know how the skull looked on, on the mummy or whatever? Um, like before he consumed enough energy. Okay, energy vampire, bitchy energy. Um, before they consumed enough energy like succubus kind of a thing um he his face was like all kind of like matted and stuff like that she looked like that and um before she went to her undead soul went to rest she was like okay it's time to rest now it's time to rest now it, it's time to lay something to rest now okay one more card right in this reading thank you this person yeah this person is watching you because they want to come out from the cold and you're the high priestess and you already know about this so if you need me for a personal reading, you can go ahead and look in the description box. Everything that you need to get into contact with me will be there. And as usual, I will see you next time.